Okay. Once you download the patents from the patent repository, you have to read the patents. So how you can read the patents? Uh, what are the features that you have to focus on? What are the, how the data can be extracted from a patent uh, file that we are uh, will see now? So if you take this uh, page, this is a front page of an US patent. So here, uh, if you look at the top portion, you will uh, turn to see mostly in all the patents, you will turn to see what is the country of the publication and date of the publication. So and then you will uh, turn to see the inventor or uh, here at assignee. Assignee means to whom he has invented, maybe a company or uh, maybe the employer, uh, anybody who has assigned him to do the invention. So mostly it will be a company and then the date of file so there will be a duration between date of filing and date of uh, publication so that uh, filed data initially when the inventor has given the database of uh, the design or uh, the idea to the unit uh, uh, to the patent office so that detail basically will be there after that you will tend to see an abstract of the invention abstract means a short description about the purpose of the design uh, idea or, uh, and also how it is basically working very short narration will be there so from that you can understand what is the purpose and uh, how the design is simply working so this is what the information that basically you can have from the front page of a US patent or mostly in patent and in the later pages you will be having some drawings so the drawings are the main features in most of the design patents product design patterns so uh, they will be giving the uh, design drawing of the uh, idea or design so the some overall diagram will be there so here uh, I have taken one uh, patent of uh, a wet dry vacuum cleaner so it is a vacuum cleaner uh, this is the overall picture of the vac vacuum cleaner that you are seeing here in the figure 1 uh, in figure 2 3 4 uh, what you are seeing is some uh, magnified view of or like some sectional view of our working uh, principle of this particular vacuum cleaner okay so there be, there may be more than one images in one particular patent uh, it will be representing uh, the various features of function or various features of design of that particular uh, patent so here if you look at the figure 2, this figure 2 is nothing but the detail image of or cut, cut image of, cut sectional image of this top portion that you are seeing over here. That is what represented here. Okay. So if you open this case, what is there inside? That is what given here. Okay. The numbers are representing the parts. So how you can identify the numbers or like parts, name of the parts that we will see now. Uh, here. Uh, if you look at this picture, it is another figure uh, that is figure 3. So it is it is defined as suction mode. So it is a vacuum cleaner. So you have suction and dump both operation. So during suction, how the suction process is happening? The arrow marks are indicating the flow of uh, uh, the air and dust. Uh, so here during dump mode, how it is uh, entering and exiting? That's what uh, portrayed in these two images. So this is the sectional view, this is also a sectional view, both are sectional views during operation. So now you, you, you have a lot of numbers. So all these numbers will be cited inside the description, which means if you want to know what is 28, for example, 28 here you have 28, this portion is 28, this one. Okay, so what is 28 means if you read the description of the patent inside, you will see uh, the fan motor 28 so the number 28 is nothing but the motor of the fan so you will have a fan over here so this fan is driven by this motor so the number of the motor is 28 so this is fan motor okay and then uh, if you look at this number 50 so what is that so the 50 is nothing but flexible tube so it is a tube so that you can obviously see this is a tube because it is having a circular cross section so it is obviously a tube so similarly inside the description these are nothing but uh, number of lines so 20 25th line 30th line 33 line, uh, line number 33 like that it goes is nothing but uh, line number 
and inside you can uh, uh, see the description uh, in that uh, they will be narrating the working principle or the parts unique uh, software parts or uh, design nature of the parts uh, the functioning modes everything they will be discussing inside the description by using the part number because if you take the design there will be number of parts so all of them has to be defined very correctly how they function so nothing should be left out and nothing will be left out you can see almost all the parts defined inside their function will also be defined inside okay so this is how simply you have to read the drawing so you will be having number of this is very important phase because uh, the soul of the, the design pattern is nothing but the drawing so you, you should know how to read the drawing so in the drawing basically there will be an overview and also some detail view some operational views so you have to read them by using the numbers so numbers will be cited inside the description so each number will be defining a part name the part name you can identify from the description and also you can by reading this you can also identify how it is functioning so here you can see the sample reading the air flow forces the resilient flap away from the valve seat in order to open the valve 36 so how the valve 36 is open that you can know from by reading this description so similarly every part of the design would be explained here by using the number and the arrows and how they function okay so this is very very important phase how to read the drawing so simple it is very simple so when you when you start to read more than one or two design you will tend to easily catch up how to read the drawing okay it's not a big thing what is the important thing and finally in a pattern you will see what is a, a claim okay what is claimed in this uh, uh, pattern so what claim means some novel points that you would like to uh, mention as a conclusion of your pattern and this is the uniqueness of your design or your idea uniqueness of your idea okay which others cannot copy okay so you are saying that a wet dry vacuum cleaner as claimed in uh, claim 2 claim 2 means something defined in claim 2 okay wherein set shifting means includes a control rod connected to set slidable plate so there is a control rod that is uh, connected to a plate this is a this is one of the uniqueness of my design so if somebody is, is copying this concept then it is violating my idea this is violating my pattern that is what the claim okay so any new feature that you are having in your pattern that can be very clearly defined in this salient points okay so this seven this may be seven points or ten points whatever it may be but it has to be very clear that it is a novel one not copied from anywhere and it is the uniqueness of your design so that is the claim of this pattern so if you take a pattern you have to read a few things first is basic data from where the the pattern has uh, has come who uh, who filed the patent what is the function basic thing after that how to read the drawing what are the salient feature of the drawing that you should know and what actually the designer claiming from his patent okay so these uh, three part is very important for you to extract the data okay so after extracting the data what you can do is you can uh, save the data by using some format this is a format that we have used uh, so you can have a, a header like this and then you can define the objective of your project and then purpose of your project product and then you can give a table or column in that you can define what is the pattern title number and the date of that and then description like it is not uh, to copy the abstract it is that you have to read everything given in the pattern and you have to understand you have to give the essence of it okay and then development gap so once you completely read the pattern you may uh, you may have some idea like uh, this pattern seems to be very big this uh, this uh, patent is not having some automation so some feature of this pattern may be automated so you may get some idea to further modify that pattern or to to further uh, slightly uh, design a pattern, uh, pattern which is slightly different from what is what you are reading now so so you can write that here okay that is very important so this only you can do only when you completely read the document of the patent and then you can give the source of the patent data so from where you have taken it okay so if you document everything like this it will be very nice 
because uh, once you complete the uh, project you can easily uh, record it you, you, you can prepare the report very easily and also the people who are uh, reading your work at the end will also get a good not good uh, uh, set of readability and also uh, collection of uh, pattern that you have uh, taken relevant to your idea so uh, if you <coughs> see this uh, sample of uh, pattern study um, you can have all these data so this is what we have done so for this project so you can have set of data at the end you may have any number of pattern that is relevant to it but at the end you have to write a conclusion that is stating how your design is going to be unique and uh, what are the features that you are going to address so here we have uh, seen that uh, some of the designs are complex and not intended for domestic application so this and heavy in weight and uh, this kind of uh, conclusion you can come to know when you read some document when you uh, read some pattern relevant to it and then you can conclude that uh, what uh, betterment can be done in for that application of your design okay that's all so this conclusion should be written at the end of the uh, survey of your pattern so this is going to be a good pattern uh, survey recording